Hey everybody, here in Los Angeles, it happens to be Fashion Week, but other news still continues. In fact, the big news today is, oh, the president's food taste, wait a minute, the president's food taster was busy, so he didn't eat at a White House, was that a White House event? It was, it was uh, he called, con they called the leaders of Congress together for a luncheon to talk about, how, talk about legislation and it was uh, it was Patty Collins' turn to uh, put a luncheon on, and she put it on from the state of Maine, and basically Obama insulted an entire liberal state by refusing to eat the food because his food taster was occupied with it elsewhere. And we found out the reason why, which was his food taster was tasting food for Michelle Obama, whose food taster was sick. Yeah. Hmm. I know, but he shouldn't have a food taster at all. And there's reasons why they have a food taster, but you can't say that because the the, the Obama administration will get pissed off well, because they shouldn't have found they shouldn't be having well, one to begin with. First of all, you have all the leaders of Congress that are already there, so well, that's right? What they people said. have been eating, so it's, it's but they said 49. Insulted. And it's a White House event. Yeah, but it said 49 people of Congress would have gotten sick also if there had been a problem with the food. It is considered it an insult. Mm -hmm. Because the Secret Service basically, <laughs> who was with him, asked if they could take doggy bags with them. So, they, they see his own Secret Service was eating the food that he right. wouldn't eat because his taster wasn't available. Yeah. So he, I, they said, you know, Imperial President, that's right. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, they said this morning Obama basically is you know, exercising his political clout. He wants $2 billion immediately for green energy programs. He, he's not going to do the Keystone Pipeline, he's not going to do this, he's not going to do that. He's going to have, by executive action, enforce the rules that the Senate passed on gun control. Uh, they said, unfortunately, he's not going to get any of the above because the Democrats are going to vote against him if he decides to... Or, okay, they're holding Benghazi over his head because they... Uh, they they found out that you know that uh, he's been lying to people about Benghazi. He continues to lie to people about Benghazi um, because some of the people that were hurt in the Benghazi thing are still in the hospital. And he said that no one was hurt except the people that were killed. There's the, one of them's in critical state. Others, and that's just the staff, the embassy staff. That's not the CIA people, which he's refusing to let anybody have contact, even though they've been served subpoenas, which they have to obey, and they're refusing to do it. So Congress is going to, okay, when, con when the Democrats figure he's of no longer any use, they're going to um, bounce him out of office, put Biden in place, and Biden is one that will play along with both sides to get the job done. Mm. See, and of course, if you're curious, this is not a spring check, and we're here with old Cal. <laughs> we're talking about comments on the headlines of today. I know, I know we'll get excited, we just The start. food taster thing got her. It did. It's getting everybody. I mean, that is like the most ridiculous No thing. president in our nation has felt the necessity to have a food taster, except for, as they said, well, you have to understand, he is the first Afro president we've ever had, and that means he has to be treated different. No. Not, not in Congress. There were black no. members. There were black members of of Congress sitting in the room eating. And New Pope promises to bring a new look to the church. Well, not at his age. The guy is um, he's 76 years old. He's on his last legs. If you look at him, you know, a few years ago he was young and healthy looking. Now he's old. Uh, they basically, he, he took a long time to become cardinal because of problems they have in Argentina. And they'll guarantee you that all of the problems he's having for uh, with the investigations on him are coming from people that thought that Obama should have been named Pope. Mm -hmm. And Indians question how rape accused was able to commit suicide in jail. Mm -hmm. Because the same way that when my father, the police officer, people used to uh, used to commit suicide in jail cells. They do. How? Yeah, they they were helped. Ah, yes. China Z's appointed president and completes rise to the top. Oh yeah, I see. If he's relatively young by Chinese standards, which means he'll be uh, in control for the next 20 or 30 years, depending upon his life expectancy, <laughs> which could be very low if the country... Uh, okay, what's happening is now, they aren't having the economy grow like they said it is. Uh, you can't, you, you basically can't walk in Peking, or Beijing, which I used to call it, you know, without, you know, uh, infrared goggles to find where you're going. Mm -hmm. The country's in a huge mess, and 
So, uh, you know, and they will blame it on the guy at the top, but what happens is they mysteriously disappear a lot in communist countries. And Venezuela says the U.S. far right wants to kill Capriles. It, okay, I'm going to put it simple. If we wanted somebody dead, they would be dead. Look at Obama and his drone things, mm -hmm. and which actually is a good United Nations ruled that Obama is committing war crimes. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, while they weren't able to bring things against Bush, the United Nations have ruled that it is a war crime to be sending um, drones into Pakistan, which means Obama has something else. He has no reason to stop being, if he ever stops being president, he's going to go to jail somewhere, folks. He, mm -hmm. he can't, now he cannot leave the United States and settle in a foreign country that isn't going to protect him from war crime charges. And they have already deemed him as a war criminal. Ooh. And North Korea's leader oversees artillery fire near disputed islands. Well, you know, well, they've been disputing those islands since for a god off a long time. What happened was the giant Japanese uh, took the islands from the, uh, basically, they had a great series on television. I, w I was watching it on the Korean channel about how all of that came apart. You know, how you know, it goes back to the province of Chosen and they, uh, the great leader they had was a great, he was a military genius, a, uh, a naval genius, and he basically, when he got kicked out of office, the Japanese came in and took everything. So that's why that was the start of the downfall of Korea, which actually was like a, 1,400 years ago. So they've been a downfall for a long time. And with 2012 behind them, conservatives at CPAC hope to focus on the future. Well, okay, mm -hmm. a week ago, before the filibuster by Rand Paul, they'd written the Republican Party off. Now the party seemed to be uh, separating itself from the people that supported John McCain and Mitt Romney and going with the younger people that basically can talk to the younger people. Mm -hmm. There's a problem is that a person my age should never be elected to a, 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 the presidency because they're, they're simply thinking like a person my age. They don't understand that while the majority of the people that actually vote are my age, they don't like people our age because, okay, you get, you know that you're not as capable as at 70 as you were at 60. You never and are. And then at 80, you're less capable than you were at 70. So you want to put a person that's basically, every, all his abilities are diminishing, or do you want to put a person in that can sit there and lie through their teeth to you on television, mm -hmm. that they want to lie through your teeth person, so. And London, Ontario, Teen Rescues Man in Wheelchair from River. I know, mm -hmm. and then um, they basic, I love it, then they went after the kid for breaking the law. Well, they did. Well, well he should have waited. Ah, yeah. and New Pope urges church to return to its gospel roots. That's why they put a conservative person in. They said, well, this person is an activist. No, he's a church, he's a Jesuit activist mm -hmm. and it, on the side where he wants it to return to the much simpler ways. That's why they put him in. You think that he would have been, okay, if they'd have wanted an activist activist, they'd have, they'd have named Obama to be president, even though he's not a Christian, so. And New Pope urges church to return to its gospel roots. Yeah, she liked oh, that. Oh, well, I know. <laughs> But the church never had gospel roots. Actually, they did. Uh, did that, they? No, that is. Well, I think of okay. No, that's the principles of the, the principles gospel, of not gospel. gospel music. I'm thinking. He knew I was thinking of gospel music. Yeah. And Canada is no longer one of the top ten most developed countries. Well, because Canada is actually a relatively small country. There are parts of Canada that are just as uh, you know, just as modern as anywhere else in the world. But there's parts of Canada that are stuck in the 19th century, and they're never going to okay. You think that we have a power grid problem in the United States? Canada is a country that's almost as big as the United States with 30-some million people, I think. And they're scattered from, from our border to the um, Arctic. And, uh, you know, so it's just, it's, it's in, the country is, is a, it's got tremendous potential, lots of minerals, but the problem is there's no way to get most of it out. And Apple Schiller blasts Android Samsung on Galaxy's Eve. Well, yeah, because he's saying it stole from Apple. Well, they what? lost. The, okay, first of all, they have lost almost every battle. Okay, if, if they they win battles in the United States, they lose them out of the country because they're dealing with the world's largest company. And Apple, as the guy from Samsung said yesterday, is a one-trick pony, and that trick is <laughs> very thin. I know, and it's been a one-trick pony for a long time. 
Yeah, and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, often other people make money off of things that you never even knew you did. 